Hi everyone, Misty here with Shabby Beautiful Scrapbooking. Um, I'm going to show you a real quick tutorial on, on how to make these little no-sew, no-glue lace flowers. Um, well, okay, I did glue the little pearl in the middle, but that was it. The rest of it is no-sew and no-glue. Um, these are so easy, you're not even going to believe how easy they are. Depending on how long of a length of ribbon you use, or I'm sorry, lace you use, will depend on how thick and fluffy your flower is. If you want it more dimensional like this, you'll use a longer piece. If you want it a little flatter, you'll use a smaller piece. So let me widen this out a little bit. All you need is craft wire. Um, probably the thinner the better. This is kind of thick, but it still works. Um, wire cutters, pliers, and your lace. So I'm going to use this lace. And I'm just going to, let me find my scissors here, um, cut off a length or, you know, if you're not sure how much you need, leave it on here and do it. It's not a big deal and you can just cut it when you're done. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I'm going to do, I think this is probably about, I don't know, eight or nine inches. Now you can do it, you can do it with thinner ribbon and not fold it, but the way you get this really fluffy look is if you fold this ribbon in half. Now if you want it to be like the little smaller, see how that doesn't go all the way to the edge in the middle? It looks like a layered flower. You would you would fold it something like that. This one, it looks more like a little carnation. You would fold it um, completely in half. So you would edge to edge. And the one that's, if you want it smaller in the center, you would fold it unevenly like that. I'm going to go ahead and fold it edge to edge. Well first you, you're going to take your just uh, I don't know two inches, two or three inches of your wire. Snip that off. Now you're going to want to, this is kind of thick so what I do is I kind of make mine pointy so you just take take your wire cutters and kind of cut it at an angle to make it more like a needle so that's more sharp and it's easier to work with the easier to pull it through the uh, lace. I keep saying ribbon because I've also done this with ribbon and that turns out really cute as well. Okay so you've got it folded. All you do is do a little running stitch like you would with a needle. Now sometimes I'll bend this edge to help the lace stay on here. So you just do your little running stitch. doesn't have to be perfect. And like I said, the, um, the, the fluffier you want it, the longer your piece of lace needs to be. And then just occasionally check and make sure you're still folded pretty evenly. Okay, I don't know how to edit, so you're just going to have to bear with me for a couple couple minutes. It's not going to take that long. I'm kind of getting off kilter here again. You can use these on your scrapbooks. You can use them on cards. Um, I had somebody on my Facebook suggest little barrettes for little girls headbands okay so you've got it all on your little wire you're just going to take the ends you want to kind of squish it all to one side okay take your ends squish them together and then just give them a couple good twists okay so you've got it all twisted. Then you're going to take your wire cutters, just snip off, obviously not all of it because you want it to stay twisted so it stays together, but twist off some of it. And then I just take my um, pliers and bend that down. Now if you're going to use this on a bread or something, you would probably want to put a piece of felt or something underneath the um, underneath here so that doesn't poke through. But it's it's in there, it's not poking through at all. 
Okay, and so then you'll just go and pull it apart, pull your layers apart. Now I did a flatter one just for time. <clears throat> a lot of these had probably, I don't know, maybe two or probably four more inches of lace. Like, let's see, that one's got more to it than this one. So that's it. And then, you know, so you've got it all fluffed up. You, need, you just add your little center. I used um, <clears throat> a glue gun. I've got these little vintage pearls that I love. Um, and here's another trick you probably all know. If you go to tag sales, garage sales, and you pick up these little old lady necklaces for a quarter or whatever, beautiful vintage beads. I've got a whole drawer full of old vintage jewelry parts. Then you just glue that right in the middle. Let me tighten in. And that, honestly, is all there is to it. It's not, it's so easy, it's almost embarrassing. And it, you all know I like to do things easy because I'm kind of lazy. I want to get to other stuff. So that's it. You can use any kind of ribbon I've used. So this came from this ribbon. And then these smaller ones, oops, sorry. came from this ribbon. Just fold it in half. And this was fun because it was it already had the hole so that went really really easy. Um, you can use the same technique with um, binding or seam binding with ribbon, organza ribbon, satin ribbon, anything. Really easy. So that's it. Um, I'm also going to have this on my blog um, just a picture tutorial. So if you want to hop on over there it's um, shabbybeautiful.blogspot.com I'll have that down in the bottom and um, I've got some items for sale in there and then also in my Etsy so alright, we all have a good afternoon and thanks, bye